सतगुरु जग्गी वासुदेव जी एमिनेंट पीपल फ्रॉम ऑल वॉक्स ऑफ लाइफ डिस्टिंग्विश योगीज गेस्ट फ्रॉम इंडिया एंड अब्रॉड लेडीज एंड जेंटमैन उंगल येल्लारो कम यन्न उडईया अनबान वणकम माय लविंग ग्रीटिंग्स टू ऑल इट इज माय ऑनर टू बी हियर इन दिस ऑगस्ट गैदरिंग दैट टू on the auspicious occasion of mahashivratri there are many festivals but this one is prefix with maha indeed there are many devas but only one महादेव देर आर मैनी मंत्रास बट द मंत्र विच इज आइडेंटिफाइड विथ लॉर्ड शिवा इज कॉल महामृत्युंजय मंत्र सच इज द ग्लोरी ऑफ लॉर्ड शिवा Mahashivratri symbolizes a union of divinity with a purpose of overcoming darkness and injustice. It inspires us to be courageous and fight for good. it marks the shifts of seasons from the cold to the lively spring and brightness mahashivratri celebrations go on for the entire night this symbolizes a spirit of vigilance that we have to protect nature and mold our activities in sync with our ecological surroundings my home state gujarat is the land of somnath the call of the people and the longing for service took me to kashi the land of vishwanath from somnath to vishwanath from kedarnath to rameshwaram and from kashi to coimbatore where we have gathered lord shiva is everywhere like crores of indians across the length and breadth of the nation i too feel delighted to be a part of celebration of mahashivratri and we are merely drops in the ocean through centuries they have lived countless devotees in every age and time they came from different places their languages may have been different but their longing for the divine is always the same this longing throbs 
in the core of every human heart. Their poetry, their music, their love has shocked the every earth. Standing here before this 112 feet face of Adi Yogi and the Yogeshwar Linga, we are experiencing a colossal presence enveloping everyone in this space. In the times to come, the place where we have gathered is going to be a source of inspiration for all, a place to immerse oneself and discover truth. Yastan Sabko Shiva Hone Kili Predit Kartarahega. It will remind us of the inclusive spirit of Lord Shiva. Today, yoga has come a long way. There are various definitions, types, schools of yoga, and ways to practice yoga that have emerged. This is the beauty of yoga. It is ancient, yet modern. It is constant, yet evolving. The essence of yoga has not changed. And I say this because it is utmost importance to preserve this essence. Otherwise, we may just have to discover a new yoga to rediscover the soul and essence of the yoga. <laughs> yoga is the catalytic agent ushering the transformation from Jiva to Shiva. Where is the word? Yatra Jiva, Tatra Shiva. Jiva se Shiva ki yatra, yahi to yog hai. By practicing yoga, a spirit of oneness is created. Oneness of the mind, body, and the intellect. Oneness with our families, with the society we live in, with fellow humans, with all the birds, animals, and the trees, with whom we share our beautiful planet. This is yoga. <laughs> yoga is the journey from me to we. Vyakti se samasti tak ye yatra hai. Main se हम तक की यह अनुभूति अहम से वयम तक का यह भाव विस्तार यही तो योग है इंडिया इज अ लैंड ऑफ अनपैरेलल डाइवर्सिटी इंडिया डाइवर्सिटी कैन बी सीन हार्ड फेल्ट टच and tested. 
The diversity has been India's greatest strength and has also brought India together. Think of Lord Shiva and the picture that comes to mind is that of his majestic presence at Mount Kailas in the mighty Himalayas. Think of Goddess Parvati and you remember the beautiful Kanyakumari which is surrounded by the vast oceans. The union of Shiva and Parvati is a union of the Himalayas with the oceans. Shiva and Parvati, this is by itself a message of oneness. And look at how this message of oneness further manifests itself around the neck of Lord Shiva. There is a snake. The Vahan of Lord Ganesh is the mouse. We are well aware of the frosty relations between snake and a mouse. Yet, they live together. Similarly, the Vahan of Kartikaya is the peacock. Peacocks and snakes are supposed to harbor great enmity. Even then, they live together. The family of Lord Shiva is diverse, yet the spirit of harmony and unity is vibrant. <laughs> Diversity is not a cause of conflict for us. We accept it and embrace it wholeheartedly. It is a speciality of our culture that wherever there is God or goddesses, there is either an animal, a bird, or a tree that is associated with him or her. That animal, bird, or tree is also worshipped with the same spirit as the god or goddesses. There cannot be a better means to inculcate a spirit of reverence for nature. Nature equals to God. This has been firmly established by our ancestors showing their foresight. Our scripture says, Ekam Sat Vipraha Baudha Vadanti. Truth is one. Sages call it by different names. We have been living this virtues since our childhood. And that is why compassion, kindness, brotherhood, and harmony are naturally a part of us. There are values we have seen our ancestors live and die for. These are virtues that have kept the Indian civilization alive for centuries. Our mind should always be open to new thoughts and ideas from all sides. Unfortunately, 
there are a select few who, who in order to hide their own ignorance, take a very rigid view and destroy any scope of welcoming new thoughts and experiences. The same way, rejecting an idea just because it is ancient can be potentially harmful. It is essential to analyze it, understand it, and try to take it to the new generation in a manner in which they understand best. The progress of humanity is incomplete without the empowerment of women. The issue, the issue is no longer women development, but it is women-led development. I am proud of the fact that in our culture, the role of women is central. Our culture has so many goddesses who are worshipped. India is home to many of women saints who led the movements for social reform, be it in the north, south, east, or west. The shattered stereotype broke barriers and became trendsetters. You will be interested to know that in India, we say, Nari tu Narayani. Nari to Narayani. Women is a manifestation of the divine. Lekin Purusilia kya kehte hain? For men we say, Nar tu karni kare to Narayan ho jaye. If a man does good deeds, he will attain divinity. Do you see the difference? The divine status of the woman is the divine status of women is unconditional. Nari to Narayani. Whereas for man, it is conditional. He can earn it after good deeds. That is also why perhaps Sadhguru insists that one take the oath of being a mother to the world. A mother is someone who is unconditioned ally inclusive. The changing lifestyles of the 21st century have brought their own set of challenges. Lifestyle-related ailments, stress-related disease are becoming more and more common. The communicable ailments can be controlled. But what about the non-communicable ones? It gives me immense sadness one that I cannot describe in words when I read about people taking to substance abuse and alcohol because they are not at peace with themselves. Today, the whole world wants peace, not just peace from wars and conflict, 
but peace of the mind. The burden of stress takes a heavy toll and one of the sharpest weapon to overcome stress is yoga. There is ample evidence that practicing yoga helps combat stress, chronic conditions. If the body is a temple of the mind, yoga creates a beautiful temple. That is why I call yoga a passport, yoga, a passport to health assurance. I'm not talking about insurance. More than being a cure elements, it is a means to wellness. Yoga is about Rog Mukti, freedom from disease, as well as Bhog Mukti, desisting from worldly greed. Yoga makes the individual a better person in thought, action, knowledge, and devotion. It would be very unfair to see yoga only a set of exercises that keeps the body fit. You may see people can twist and turn their bodies in all sorts of fashion, but they are not all yogis. Yoga is far beyond physical exercise. Through yoga, we will create a new yuga, a yug of togetherness and harmony. When India mooted the idea of the International Yoga Day at the United Nations, it was received with open arms. The world celebrated both the yoga day, 21st June 2015 and 2016, with great fervor. Be it Korea or Canada, Sweden or South Africa, in every part of the world, the rays of the sun were welcomed by yogis engaged in the practice of yoga. The coming together of so many nations to mark the International Day of Yoga shows the real essence of yoga togetherness. Yoga had the potential to herald in a new yoga, a new era, a yoga of peace, compassion, brotherhood, and all round progress of the human race. One truly remarkable thing that Sadhguru has done is he has made yogis out of ordinary common people. People who stow, stay with their families and work in the world, but who are living at the peaks within themselves, undergoing intense and wonderful experiences on a daily basis. Wherever one is, in whatever situation one is placed, one can be yogi. I see so many radiant and joyous faces here. I see people working with utmost love and care 
paying attention to the smallest of details. I see people full of energy and enthusiasm to offer themselves to a greater cause. Adi Yogi will inspire many generations to take up yoga. My gratitude to Sadhguru for bringing our this to us. us. Thank you. Thank you very much. Pranam. Manakam.